We're here with Alex Ibrahim, Head of Latin American Capital Markets and Listings for the NYSE Euronext. And Alex, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the trends and listings that we're seeing for the region this year and if we could move to Brazil after that? Absolutely. We have 95 companies from Latin America listed here in our market and we have seen the last few years uh, the return of Latin American companies to the US. Last year we had a very good year. We listed six companies from LATAM. Five of them were here in the, in the US. One of them, a Brazilian company, listed in our platform in Europe. And this year, you know, there is a lot of volatility in the marketplace, but we were able to attract a company that is based in Argentina, but it's really a pan-regional company. Um, and if you look at the filings, they're public with the SEC, we have a very nice pipeline of deals that hopefully will come to the market this year. Speaking a little bit about Brazil, there is a lot of volatility in the market. There are two big events uh, that's happening in the next few months. So I hope towards the end of the year, when things stabilize, you will be able to see a better forecast for the next year. Thank you. Can you give us some numbers in terms of the pipeline? How big is the pipeline? How, how big is the latent demand for Perfect. people to list here? We, uh, what is public file of the SEC, we have four companies and it's Pen Regional. We have a company called Atento, which is based in Madrid, actually, but uh, most of their assets are in Latin America. Uh, we have a company called Globant, which will be the first technology company to list outside the local markets on the NYSC, so we're very excited about that. that th this company is based in Argentina. And we have Azul, it's a Brazilian company. When, when was the biggest year for Brazilian listings in the NYC? Was it 2007 or 2010? We had a very good year when Banco Santander Brazil listed, and it was go, goes back like four years ago. That's right. And two years ago, we had a Brazilian company called Brazil Agro listing here. But if you look at last year, we had three deals that actually decided to come to the US from Brazil, but unfortunately, the market was not ready. And one of them was Votorantim Cements, would have been the largest IPO globally. And when, when we say they're coming here, they're coming here as ADRs? They're coming here as an ADR, correct. Listing here. What, what sort of sectors are represented here mostly? from Brazil in particular? In Brazil, we have a very good concentration in financial services. We have four banks here, they trade here. We have utilities, they're listed here. Um, we do not have a good representation of technology at this point, and also consumer goods. So we are highly weighted towards financial and utilities. I would love to see companies from other sectors that actually represent the Brazilian economy. Hopefully they will come in the near future. And liquidity, what sort of liquidity are we seeing in the stocks after they've, they've listed here? Yeah, if you look at the Brazilian market as a whole, we trade, the Brazilian market, meaning the ADRs are listed here, we trade on average $2.5 billion a day, which represents 60% of the company's global liquidity, the local market plus New York. So we execute most of the trading here in this market. And if you look at Latin America, the number is even higher because a lot of markets like Colombia, Peru, they're still very small, and we pretty much dominate the liquidity for those companies, like in ter around 70%. So for Latin, on average, it's about 65, 70%. And when you rank the emerging market regions, how, how does Latin rank in terms of its? Yeah, Latin America is extremely well represented here in terms of number of companies, but uh, we are, that's the number one region in terms of liquidity. Okay. And Brazil, in the last few months has become the number one country in terms of liquidity in this market. Is, is there any particular reason why Brazil, even though it hasn't listed more, more shares, has become the number one? Oh, I mean, historically, Brazil, we, we attracted very large corporations from Brazil to list here. They've done very large transactions in the market, so there's a lot of shares in the marketplace. But also investors, U.S. investors, global investors, they want to have access to the growth of the Brazilian market, so they trade through the ADRs that are listed here. So someone, John and Mary, that lives in Oklahoma City, wants to be exposed to the growth of the Brazilian economy, they buy ADRs from Vale, Petrobras, Cozan, and other companies. So the, the interest is very hard, very big here. Alex Ibrahim, thank you very much. You're very welcome.